say wicked at times, isn't it? He'll use it to bother that wolf or that bear that's trying to steal the sheep. And so, God looks at Moses and says, what's that in your hand, Moses? Moses looks says, says, this is all I've got. It's a stick. It's a stick. God says to Moses, what? Throw it down. Throw it down. Now, when Moses threw that down, what was he doing? I think there's a symbolism here. In a sense, Moses was taking that. Think about it for a minute. This is Moses' identity, isn't it? For 40 years, this is all he's done. He's guided the sheep. He's protected the sheep. He's made his way through the paths of the desert. This is all Moses has. Take this away from Moses, and Moses can't do what he deems his purpose right now. Throw it down, Moses. Here's his security. Here's his identity. Here's, here's what he has. God says, give it up, Moses. Throw it over. Cast it down. And then, of course, it turns into a snake. What's the snake? Well, the snake is a symbol of Egypt. The, uh, the pharaoh had a staff, right? And on the head of the staff was the cobra. It was the snake that represented the power of that empire. And so, here's this snake. And, and what does God say to Moses? He says, pick up that snake by its tail. And Moses says, God, you haven't been in these deserts very long. <laughs> Anybody living out here knows you don't pick up a snake by the tail. It'll come right around and, and, and get you. God says, Moses, pick it up by the tail. <laughs> Think about this. Moses going over this thing, right? And, and, it, and he grabs it by the tail. And all of a sudden, it what? Becomes rotting. Right. What is God saying? You're going to take Egypt by the tail. You're going, to, you're going to be able to control the power of Egypt. And it's through this little staff that you have. Very interesting because it was the staff of Moses. But halfway through chapter 4, we read that Moses, when he finally gave it to God, and Aaron, his brother, comes and they meet and they join up and God goes back, or Moses goes back to Jethro, and he says, this is what God's called me to do. I've seen, I've seen God. This is what he's called me to do. And so it says he takes his wife and his kids. Oh, that's a good thing to do, right? Give your wife and kids. But then it also says, and it's almost like a, like a footnote in the verse. And he took the staff of God in his hand. It's no longer the staff of Moses, is it? It's now the staff of God. Now, I've got a couple other props here. So, watch these kids. What do you think this tennis racket's worth? Well, in my hand, it's, uh, well, it's used, so I don't know that it's worth too much. It might have been worth 70 bucks, you know, brand new. But, that, you know, if it's, worth, if it's worth that much anymore in my hand. But take this tennis racket and put it in the hands of Serena Williams or Roger Federer. And what is it worth? All of a sudden, it's worth millions of dollars, isn't it? These people made big money, right? And um, I got a basketball here, too. I want to tell you, as good as I like to think I am shooting this basketball, this thing is worth 10 bucks in my hands. You put it in the hands of Derek Rose or Michael Jordan, and all of a sudden, it changes drastically. It becomes valuable. Well, I got one more here. Tell you in my hands, this is work. This is useless. <laughs> I'm not a golf. I like to think that I could be a golfer, but, but uh, I don't play often enough. And this thing, you know, usually I hit it and it takes a right hand turn. For some <laughs> this is pretty useless in my hands. But you put this in the hands of Tiger Woods, and all of a sudden it has incredible work. So let me take you back to the staff. Let me close with this. What do you have in your hand? 
What do you have in your hand? And I think for many of us, should we kind of look at ourselves and look at our talents and look at what we have and say, I don't have anything to give to God. Well, God just says, give me what you have. Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Little is much when God is in it. So, whatever it is, and I'm going to ask you to bow your heads right now. Whatever it is that God has placed in your hand, would you give it back to Him this morning? Would you throw it down? Sometimes we just want to hold on to it because this is our security. Give it up. Oh, I can't give this up. God, this is, this is who I am. This is what I am. This is all I know. But when you give it over to God, you let Him bless it, guess what? He takes it and He makes so much more of it. God's commandments are God's enablements. Whatever God calls you to do, whatever God commands you to do, whatever God desires for your life, he will give you the ability to do it. He will enable you. I wonder if there's somebody here who's never thrown down their life before God. You've never really surrendered yourself completely to Him. You can do that right now. As I pray this prayer, Christians, if, if there's anything you recognize this morning, you're holding on to, you haven't really dedicated it to Him. I want you to do that. Think concretely. Think specifically today. And let's dedicate. Father, we want to dedicate every moment of our life. We want to dedicate every day of our life. We want to dedicate our, our mouth to You. Lord, that You might speak through this mouth. We may feel that we're, we're just a stutterer. But God, you can take, you made this mouth, and you can take it, you can use it. We feel that we don't have answers to give to people, but we do. We have answers because God has touched our life. God has given every one of us a testimony. Father God, take our hands. Take our hearts today. Take every part of us. We would yield them to you. And I pray, I pray that from this congregation, Lord God, that as they recognize the gifts, the abilities that God has placed within them, Lord, that this would be a mighty army. Lord, so often when, when we hear that um, almighty warrior, we might think is Gideon. Who am I? What, what am I? God, you have made this, this church a mighty army. Let them recognize who they are, who they are in Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen.
Google Sync, and then the whole file will go in for the last song.
the Lord for the celebration we had today. Also, Father, thank you for the challenge and uh, praying that we respond with positive attitudes to what we have heard today. We let go of those things in our lives that God is asking us to let go. When you let go, you will find out that instead of being rough of something, you will actually find it blessed and uh, at peace, and you will experience joy that you have not experienced ever in your life. So we give God the glory, and we thank you once again for being here today. Let's all stand as we pray, and uh, please don't go right after the service. We have food downstairs, enough for everyone, and the only problem is room. <laughs> We don't have enough space there downstairs, but we're all invited to join us uh, with something that we have for everyone today. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we give you the glory. We look forward to being in your presence in heaven. And yet, you have given us ministries and things to do while we're here as your children. To grow spiritually, to live a life of surrender. And to please you in every way in this name. Lord, thank you that every time we gather as a church, we are being strengthened. So that when we go out and become the church in this world, that our lives will be a light in this dark world. That we will testify your power, your goodness, and your salvation. And Lord, once again, we honor you, we lift your name. You're worthy of all our praise. We give all the glory to you. And now, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all in our prayer. And all of God's people say, Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
Pero para mí, la película es muy bien. ¿Tú sabes qué es? ¿Qué es lo que se está haciendo? ¿Qué es lo que se está haciendo? ¿Qué es lo que se está haciendo? ¿Qué es lo que Stop, stop, stop. Come on, stop the dog.